Drew Talks there, I came from there, Street Photography Blog. Currently here with my buddy Michael Wynn with his new book, Immerse. We're in Ebisu in Tokyo at Sanaru Tahiko coffee shop. And it's probably one of my new favorite zines. It's full of depth, emotion, and it's kind of a combination of sensual zen, I think is the best way to describe it. And I'm here with my buddy um, Mike to uh, talk a little bit about the book. So, switch. All right. All right. Um, right. So, Mike, we did an interview with you in the past. But uh, to start off, um, why did you decide to print your book? Um, it's just about time, I guess. I mean, you're never really happy with your work. You're always tweaking it until you probably die. But yeah. I think it just comes a time when you get it out, um, talk with people, and. Um, it just said, yeah, man, just do it. Can you give us a, a quick flip through of some of your favorite images? Uh, favorite image? Uh, to be honest, I've been looking at this for like six months, so I... Or maybe, uh, can, you, can you turn it around and just, we just do a quick flip through? Uh, okay. So, the, yeah. So this is the cover, Immerse. Oh, tell us how you designed the cover. Um, actually a friend helped me out with the logo. Um, so it's like the logo's put into two lines, like it's kind of immersing itself. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was the concept. And why is it called Immerse? Um, so it's kind of just like Immerse as in like going into the hot spring, mm -hmm. kind of like slowly submerging yourself and also an introduction into this world that most people don't really get to see. I guess. Mm. So maybe let's do a flip flip through and just kind of fold it flat so we can kind of get a sense of uh, what it looks like. All right, um, cover. One, two. Uh huh. And this is this is a dummy copy. The, the normal yeah, copy is, is a stapled. Sample copy. The but it's a little bit easier to see the spreads. I wonder if you could just put it straight flat on the table. Do you think that'll be easier? So while you're flipping, tell us uh, what are these photos about? What what story are you trying to tell? Uh, yeah, it's just not much of a story. It's just a. Uh, little snippets of memories of going to a hot spring. Um, it's kind of an exclusive Japanese experience and I felt like there's been no real book or any publication that documents this so um, yeah. Why did you want to print, print it versus just showing it on social media or your website or whatnot? Uh, well photos you know it's always about the print, I feel. Yeah. Um, you know, seeing it in print in the gallery, it's totally different than seeing it online. And, you know, it's just old school. Uh, to me, this magazine's more kind of like a mixtape. Mm. You know, I'm passing this out, hopefully getting a, an album deal somewhere. Nice. You know? So it's kind of like a mixtape, what I can do, and hopefully a publisher can pick it up to do like a real proper book one day. How did you make these photos? Uh, mostly film. Um, I would say 90% shot on the Leica um, Neopan 1600. Nice. Some Delta 3200. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think these two are like more famous ones, I think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And um, with, with your book, can you tell us uh, how you designed it and put it together? Uh, how, as in, like, what software are you? Doing? Yeah, like software and the, the process of getting it printed and uh, well, all these other printed, details. I think I chose like maybe a hundred of my favorite images first, printed out L size, just laid it out, uh -huh. and then narrowed it down from there, and then just put it in InDesign and then try to compare it. Um, it took about six months to finally complete. How do you know which photos to keep and which ones to ditch? Uh, ooh, that's a tough question. I was pretty drunk most of the time, so just got feeling pretty much. Um, and there was a few people that I trust with, uh, you know, like like I said, I was looking at these constantly for like six months. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what was going on anymore, so I needed like another pair of eyes to trust. So I sent you actually a draft, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just like a few friends that I trust and they helped me out. Hmm. And uh, why do you want people to, uh, why do you want to put it into people's hands? Because uh, I could die tomorrow and this will be what I need to the world.
<laughs> now I think maybe one of the, the biggest question is how did you just how did you take the photos of, like who are these people and um, yeah mostly just ex-girlfriends actually um, since I've been in Japan every onsen trip that I've been to it's just been snapping away and how do they feel about being photographed yeah I mean you know it's kind of creatively cropped so you don't really know who's who and the point is that you know it could be anybody I didn't hmm. want to put a face on it or anything like that so. hmm. and how does it feel now that it's, uh, it's published yeah it's great you know um, it's a big load off the shoulder, I think. I'm mm -hmm. quite satisfied with it. Mm. And um, if people want to uh, pick up a copy, where can they get a copy? Um, yeah, it's all online now. I set up a shopping cart on my website. What's your w website? Uh, it's just my name, michaelwynnphoto.com. So, um, ah, here it's it is. Back here. And so, michaelwynnphoto.com. Yeah. And what if people want to email or contact you? What's the best way? Uh, yeah, there's a, an, all the information on there. So. Hmm. And tell us uh, about your next step in photography. Next step? Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, this is my mixtape. So hopefully I want to do like a studio album someday. Like proper, nicely print bound to um, keep working on this. I think uh, there's 32 pages now. I think I'd like to do an 80 page clip one day. Oh, sick. Maybe add more things, like not just news, but like inserts, kind of more of the context of uh, Hot Spring. And, and if you could uh, make make your book uh, all over again, what do you wish someone told you? Um, I guess I wish someone could tell me how hard it really is. Because they're like, yeah, you know, you'll figure it out. But yeah, it's pretty tough. It's a lot harder than it looks. Any, any other tips uh, for people to put together their own book or zine? Yeah, just do it. Um, I've been waiting years and, you know, procrastinating is one of my weak points, I guess. Many people probably, but uh, yeah, there comes a point where just do it. Sick, man. Yeah. All right, dude. Thanks dude. for the good times. Go, uh, go Sharks, right? Go Sharks. Yeah, so once again, check out, uh, pick up a copy of a zine. Uh, it's very affordable. It's at michaelwynnphoto.com. How much does it cost and what's included? Um, it's $15 and you get an l size print that's signed as well. So this is an amazing deal and most of the world it's about $10 for shipping? Uh, yeah, it's from Japan, so to the States, Europe, about 10 bucks. Yeah, so for this beautiful piece of art, and not only that, but you get a free print, I think that's an amazing deal. Um, you've actually really inspired me to do more of these uh, zines myself and I, I, I really encourage everyone who's watching to make their own too. So um, any last words or shout outs? Um, no, not really. <laughs> Hi dude. Yeah. Alright, so time is it right now? 11.36, time for me to go to Kyoto soon but yeah, we're gonna have some more coffee and enjoy the weather. Alright, peace out man. Peace.